this piece, I mean, wow. Yeah, yeah that piece is a, Look at that I think red. it was made in 25 or 26. You're they, right. They so called it a red bug. This was made by a company, well, initially, Smith. So it was called a Smith Flyer, and it had mm -hmm. a fifth wheel on the back. There was a wheel oh. on the back, okay, that drove yeah. it. And then later on, in the teens, they sold that to Briggs & Stratton, and then a company called Automotive Electric Services huh. bought this, and they, they started putting these electric motors on. So the evolution of the Red Bug or the Smith Flyer, this is the last of it with this electric motor and this yeah. drive. But yeah, yeah it's, they're super cool. There's a picture up in the house somewhere. Walter's driving and Beth's sitting oh. beside him. It's a very cool picture and they're, you know, 10 or 12 years old. It was originally bought by my uncle for his family. Here's this little electric gadget that he could just tool around in. We drove it around the sidewalks and he didn't really like me to drive it. So the red bug, okay, yeah. I'm interested in that. And I'm, inter right. and I'm interested in the sign. Okay. Do you have a number on the Packard sign? Five to six. In 1899, the Packard Automobile Company opened their doors and they were in business until the late 1950s. But in 1953, Packard bought Studebaker and became the Studebaker Packard Corporation. I think five to six is doable just because of the chip I can see in the top and it's been repainted. If that chip wasn't there, I haven't seen the other side yet, yeah. it'd be worth as much as eight grand. When you get up on it, you can see that there's been some restoration to the sign. There's some big chips out of the porcelain. The paintwork was done well enough to where from far away, it looks amazing. But the sign guys, the guys that want the mint signs that will pick it apart, will notice that right away. They want mint stuff, almost like a comic book collector. Mm -hmm. When you're looking at the yellowing of the pages and the edge and the cover and all that stuff, they look at signs that way. What's also awesome is the sign ring is there. They're always missing. What's it look What's like? What's the backside? Ah, let me see here. I th it's very similar to the other side. There's some, there's some big chips. See where, see where this was repaired? I mean, not repaired, but repainted. All right. That's the same thing that's going on the other side, but it's not repainted. Ooh, aren't you so glad you can see those now? <laughs> yeah, I actually kind of am. It? Yes. How about 45 on the sign? How about 55? Yeah, I, I can't. I'm getting into I'm getting them because I'm getting into what it's worth. That's my retail number. That's not what I can pay for it. Why don't we do this? I do 45 on the sign and, and five on the car. Hmm. Could you throw another $500 in? That makes it an even 10,000. Yeah. I'd... How about 5,000, 4,500, and the grill? And you're saying an extra 500, right? Yes. Why don't we do an extra 200? All right, we'll do it. I All like right. it. I can see why the deal? family hired you. That's what the deal is. I like it, yeah. I like it. All I right, love it. Very cool. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads. It's dumpster diving. It's flea markets. It's people's homes.